So we have Rivals mode. Uh, I've covered that in the past. It's a way of challenging your friends. In Rivals mode, there's different events. Well, there's Top Gear implementation in there as well. So the Kia Seed on the Top Gear test track, challenge your friends and create your own big scoreboard. Then community's actually always been a very large aspect of Forza Motorsport. We've been known for really driving user-generated content with our livery editor. And things like our auction house, which you did in Forza 2, our storefront in Forza Motorsport 3. And this is built up of surprising economy. And in fact, there's a lot of surprises in our community that honestly, uh, even our community doesn't really know about. We know it only because we look at the data. So we've now added 16 player multiplayer. And you'd think, wow, it's a racing simulator. 16 player multiplayer is great for the racers. But the truth is, 50% of our players aren't racing. They're doing schoolyard games, like Cat and Mouse, Keep the It, Tag, Virus. They're doing these types of games, 50%. Now, these are people just having fun with cars. They're not the ones that are on the forums. Those are usually our racers. They're heavily engaged, very, very passionate. But these people are still playing, hundreds of thousands of players, two years after the game shipped. And we have uh, great games come out in the industry, like Red Dead Redemption comes out. And our hundreds of thousands of players will see the number drop down for about three weeks, and then doo -doo 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 -doo, comes right back up to where it is. Because we're the game people return to, because they just want to have fun with cars. So 16-player multiplayer is great for racers, but it's also good for those schoolyard games. And we've added a new feature called Top Gear Football. Now, Top Gear Football works the way you might expect. There's a big football in the middle. There's goals on either side of the pitch. And you use the cars to score. So you can play eight aside with 16 player. You can play five aside, four aside as you like. Now, what's interesting is that in the show, they used micro hatches. And we tend to use positions football. So we have Q7s, X5s, Torags, big SUVs in the back, midfield STIs and Evos. Frontline strikers, those are Lotus, Maserati, Ferrari. But we're also in a car club together. And in our car club, we've got a painter. So the painter does all of the jerseys. So when we go play football, we look like we're on a cohesive team. Now, painters are an interesting aspect of Forza Motorsport because they are the wealthiest people in our community. The drivers, which is what I think people expect, it's a racing game, and therefore it's about racing, and therefore it's about driving. But the truth is the drivers are the engine that drives the economy because they're always racing and generating money. But where does their money go? Their money goes to the painters who are making millions and millions of credits in the game. Now what's great is if you get into a car club and you have attracted a great painter, a great tuner, some great drivers, you work together because you have a collective shared garage. So I could save up my money and buy a Bugatti Veyron. You can save up your money and buy a McLaren F1. And whether you're online or not, I can drive your F1. And whether I'm online or not, you can drive my Bugatti. So we have collective buying power. And if you have a painter, you're basically sponsored, because the painter's going to have millions and millions of credits. And all they're using those credits for is to buy other people's works of art. But they can fund your team by basically buying all the great cars. And if you've got a tuner, the tuner's going to make all of the drivers faster.